Pasensya na po kayo, uh, recuperating ako for four days na ito sa Thank you for the... Uh, uh, Pinika po po ito pinigay sa ang sermon, the taking ground for the kingdom. So, it's the Joshua. Joshua chapter 1, verses 1 to 9. Alam niyo ba tayo ay Joshua generation? Sino na sasabi hindi kayo masama? Millennia. Lahat po tayo ang um, Joshua generation. So, it's a challenge na. Challenge sa kagad kayo. Okay, uh, come now. I don't have to say, meron ako pre-repare, kaya lang, dyan na ako mag-pun. Let's, uh, let's go to the, 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 ano, the, the, the verses. Joshua 1, chapter 1, 1 to 9, 1. Uh, sabayan niyo po kung magbasa, silently, okay? Now, after the death of Moses, the servant of the Lord, came to us, that the Lord spoke unto Joshua, the son of Nun, Moses' minister, saying, verse 2, Moses, my servant is dead now. Thereafter arise, Go over Jordan, thou and all the people unto the land which I do give to them, even to the children of Israel. How about the basic book? Sabi ko kayo ang Joshua generation. So, no sinabi ni God, ay Joshua sa inyo ng sasalita ng God sa atin every Christian believer now. In verse three, every place that the sole of your foot shall tread upon. That I have given unto you, as I said to Moses. Verse 4. From the wilderness in this Lebanon, even unto the great river, the river Euclides, all the land of the Hittites, and unto the great sea, towards the going down the sun, shall be your cause. Yun ang sakot natin, talo saan makikita. Five, there shall, be, there shall any man be able to stand before thee all the days of your life, of thy life, as I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. I will not fail thee, nor forsake thee. Amen. Number six, be strong and of good courage, for unto these people shall not be by for an inheritance the land which I swear unto their fathers to give them. Verse seven, only be thou strong and very courageous, that thou mayest observe to do according to all the law, which Moses my servant commanded thee. Turn not from it to the right hand or to the left, that thou mayest prosper whatsoever goest. Verse 8. The book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate therein day and night, that thou mayest observe to do according to all that is written therein. For, the, for thou shalt make thy way prosperous, and you shall have good success. In verse 9, again, in Udit niya, Have I not commanded thee, be strong and of good courage, be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed, for the Lord thy God is with you, whatsoever thou goest. Let us pray. Almighty Father God, maraming maraming sa araw na ito, nabigay mo sa amin. Kayo po sana, aming patuloy na itampok sa aming buhay. Kami po nagpapasalamat sa, uh, sa araw mo, sa araw na ito, na ikaw po ay uh, sumaamin, Panginoon. Maraming salamat, Panginoon. <laughs> sa gift na ibinigay mo, Father God, at sa Holy Spirit na patuloy na gumagabay sa amin ng Joshua generation. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus Christ, let me pray. All of us will say, Amen. 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 Next, ano? The book... Ay, sorry. Okay. Gawin tayo na. The book describes the invasion, conquest, and settlement of Palestine by nation it called of Israel. It covers a span of 25 years. Ito ang sinasabing the book, the conquest, no? Ito yung book of conquest. No? The book of Joshua is the counterpart to Exodus. Sabi sa Exodus, it records how God led his people out of Egypt. And Joshua tells us, the book of Joshua tells us how he led his people into the land of blessing. Next please. Moses summarizes both books in Deuteronomy 6, 23, saying, And he brought us out from there, uh, from, from Egypt, that he might bring us in to give us the land which he swore to give unto our fathers. Next. And this is the conquest stage. The promised land was a gift from God that you still have to possess through faith and action. Joshua led the people in and they immediately faced battles. But God promised they would win these battles and be fruitful, satisfying lives in the land if they remained faithful to him and followed his direction. Kita natin, ano? And their condition. But God promised they would win those battles and be fruitful, satisfying life in the land if they remain faithful to Him and followed His directions. Next, please. 
Item one, I will give you every place to set your foot, Joshua 1 to 3. God has told his people to take territories. Uh, uh, Joshua is a conquest, uh, 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 the book of conquest. For Joshua, it was land. For us, it's advancing its kingdom in the world. That is the subject of the pastor, no? Advancing his kingdom in the world. We expect and we, we pray, please pray, you know, for 27 onward, let's go out already. Let's advance his kingdom in the world. Because God, Jesus is our king and the kingdom should be spread. Next. I will give you every place to set your foot. When Israel disobeyed, they lost battle. They didn't lo lose their standing with God, but their experience to promise not suffer. Hindi na wala yung kanilang ni anak na Diyos. Pero, sabi natin, di ba, alam mo natin ang kwento, natatalo, di ba, kasi nga hindi na sinusunod. Yung, uh, they did not away the, the, the commitment they have said and given to God. Personal application. Sabay-sabay natin basahin. What? Territory as God called you to save. What is your mission in life? Your territory may be small, your family, your work, your community, your barangay, but it is still spreading the kingdom. And what is your mission in life? When you accepted God, the mission of Jesus, you have already accepted, and that is also our mission. So what is God saying to us? We are on assignment from God to advance His kingdom in this world. Our relationship with Him determines how effectively we carry out that mission. And what is God saying to you, to me? Your status as His child doesn't change, but your capacity to fulfill His purposes depends on your faith. On your faith and commitment to Him. Next, please. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Joshua 1 to 5. Verse 5. Thank you. Joshua needed reassurance and God gave him plenty of it. God's presence is with His people in all situations. He empowers His people to do what He has called them to do. Hindi ka po mapunta yung God sa isang lugar na hindi ka niya pinagplanuhan, hindi ka pinanda sa so all of this. Actually, ang tawag nga sa, 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 sa first part ng Joshua is the preparation in, in, from 1 to 9. We are all being prepared. Excuse me. Next po. Again, let's read together. What is God leading you to do that will be impossible without His presence. Say a prayer item na po natin. What is God is leading you to do that will be impossible without His presence? Next, please. And what is God saying about it? He doesn't send us, it is a sabi ko kanina, battle, into a battle alone. He reassures us and promises His constant presence, even when we don't feel it. Mas sabi sa ito, na ba doon natang ligad, ba't ba ako nagkakaproblema? Isip mo lang yun. Kasi iniisip mo sarili mo muna, hindi ka muna pumunta sa kanya, hindi ka muna lumapit sa kanya. In John 15, 5b, lower portion of the second part of uh, John 15, 5, Apart from me, nothing you can do. Apart from me, nothing you can do. Amen to that. May you want to Next po. His assignment for us will require itself. Jesus said, without me, you can do nothing. If it is small enough to do on our own, it isn't a God-sized task. It's a sabi, ano eh, long ranger ka eh, kung gumagawa. No, you never, never a long ranger. A Christian is never a long ranger. Always have a partner, God. Ito isang pang sinasayo ko lang sa Joshua 1, 6, 7, 9. Tatlong beses kayo ulit dyan. Verses 6, 7, 9. Be strong and courageous. Love to me. Joshua uh, was in an intimidating situation and God spoke words of strength to him. So, you, you have to expand your territory, say, uh, in the beyond. Fulfilling God's mission is not an easy, trouble-free assignment. It requires courage. Personal application. What are 
are you facing now that scares you? What would God say to you about the situation? What are you facing now that scares you? You can pray nothing kanina. It scares you. But when we pray it, we give it right to God. Binitawa na natin yun. Sinabahala doon. And what would God say to you about the situation? Lagi answered prayer. Di pati sinasabi, di sabi ko si God. What is God saying? With Him on our side, we have nothing to fear. The obstacle against us may be great, but it's infinitely greater. If God is with us, who can be against us? Ulitin nga natin. If God is with us, who can be against us? Amen. Next poll. So number four, be careful to do everything written in the book. Joshua 1 verse 8. God's word is critical to our well-being. For Joshua and his people, it was God's law. Obedience to the law. Pero para sa atin, it's all God's word. Written natin, it's all of God's word. Hindi natin dapat hinihinga. Araw-araw, yung pagising sa umaga, thank you Lord. May narinig ako ang sabi, bakit umiiyak si... si Kuya Art, magkagising. Because he's praising God because he's still breathing. It's all of God's word every morning. And for us today, it's all of God's word. Personal application, how diligent are you to read, meditate, on follow, and follow God's word? What do you have to gain by being diligent about it? What do you have to lose if you err? Hindi lang basta pinapabasa lang dyan yung ating ano dyan, uh, word to, to you know, the day, no? Uh, may ibig sabihin yun. Madali mag memoria. Pero yung memoria nyo ba, wawag sa kapuso. Makapuro dito lang, no? And you practice it. What do you have to gain by being diligent about it? What do you have to lose if you are it? Next please. And what is God saying? God doesn't give us instruction to limit us, but He gives them for our benefit. For our benefit. Amen. We must cling to Christ to fulfill the law perfectly on our behalf. Abi di ba? He is the perfect, the, the law perfection. Is the perfect? Okay. He is the. A fulfillment of the law. His life is critical to our well-being. If we love Him, His word will deeply matter to us. Hinahilat ko po ito kasi nung namiyak na ako, nung ginagawa ko. Kasi minsan po, hindi nakakalimog din ako. If, the word is if eh. The condition was there. Ulitin nga natin. If we love Him, His word will deeply matter to us. Kung ganyan natin, in the verses in our head, nalabas na nalabas eh. Masishare kagad natin. Masishare natin malagi. Because we love Him. Next please. And conclusion. Israel failed to keep God's word. Alam natin na yan sa kwento ng Joshua. During the time of the judges, as well as many era sins, and they experienced negative consequences as a result of their sins. Next Paul. But when they were faithful to His word, God fully supported them with His strength. When we neglect our relationship with Him, He has to focus on bringing us back. Pasahin lang natin yung naka-palipanap. Yung naka-highlight, no? Neglect Him, but He focus on us back. We neglect, no? Pag binakit, pinaliwala natin ang aking relasyon, yung gift, yung grace na binigay sa atin ni God, you know how grace has grace with God, has grace with God sa atin? Siya rin, He will focus us back. Siya rin yung magbabalik sa atin. Wala tayong kahirap-hirap. Anak ka niya eh. Next quote. And when we honor our relationship with Him, He can focus on blessing us with His favor. He faithfully bring us into a place that the place is He promised us. Masayin natin yung naka-highlight po. Honor Him, He bless us, so He bless, He faithfully brings us into the places He promised us. Into the places He promised us. The 
kingdom prepared for us to sample your inner mission field. Your community, your family, your barangay, your school, your workplace, to sample kayo gagamitin ng Panginoon. Because He brought, He faithfully brings us into the places He promised us. Thank you. Sunog po. Sunod ba? No. Okay, wala na. Meron po akong prepare na prayer. Uh, it's a commitment prayer. Um, Kailangan mo na. Ano na lang kaya tayo? And sabay-sabay po natin basahin. Oh. Yan na lang kaya natin. Sa taas yun. Sana, sana yun na. Uh, Pakibalik sa taas na. Excuse me. Start from the top. Ayun. Sabay-sabay po natin yung bansahin at baunin natin to. My prayer to you, Father, we surrender this past year and give it up to you. We give you our failures, our regrets, our disappointments, for we have no more use for them. Make us a new person. A new man, a new people, forgetting what lies behind and pressing toward what that was the eyes ahead of us. We give you our hopes and dreams for the future. Purify them by your Holy Spirit so that our will shall truly reflect your will for us. And as we stand the threshold of another year, encourage us by the success of the past, challenge us by the power of your word, and guide us by the presence of your spirit. Forgive us, Lord, for past failures, then cause us to start anew with strength and courage to obey like Joshua and closely follow you. I commit this prayer to you, dear God, it be your divine anointing as I commit this covenant with you. Amen. Uh, this is not a simple prayer. Uh, next time you come, I will prepare already. It's a covenant. Prepare the title. We start the year. Bless me. Father God, once again, we thank you, Lord. Maraming maraming salapat, Lord, sa mga nagalap sa buhay namin na 2016. At uh, we're looking forward, Father God, for a brighter, prosperous 2017. Bless all families, Father God, not only for the GLF families, Lord God. We ask, Father God, for anointing and healing, Father God, sa lahat Panginoon na nakakilala sa inyo. Nagabing ka pa kayo ng mga pusong inahanda mo para sa amin na aming pong... Uh, Um, sa sisiyaran po ng word ninyo, Lord, handa na yung Panginoon ang mga territories na hinanda na para sa amin. Maraming salamat, Ama, sa mga namumuno sa amin na mayroong vision, Lord. At as we sing, Father God, the next song, we are offering it to you. In Jesus Christ's name we pray. Amen. 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 We will sing, Be Thou My Vision. 